All right, Jackie, you can bet with it as warm as it's going to be today. Lots of folks will be out and about in flip-flops, but apparently summer's favorite shoe could put you at some serious risk of serious injury. Podiatrist Dr. Braxton Little says flip-flops don't provide extra support for the arch, which can lead to foot pain and muscle fatigue in the lower part of the leg or in your back. If you are still flipping for your flops, though, experts say never wear them while you drive or walk upstairs, but instead stick to only wearing them at the beach. I don't know what you're going to be wearing to get to the beach with them, but whatever. Uh, if flip-flops aren't exactly uh, your jam, the, you also need to watch out for high heels. Injuries caused by high heels are actually on the rise. The Dr. Steven Neufeld of the Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Center joins us now with more on the common injuries and how to prevent them. I can't think of a better topic than high heels. <laughs> so thanks for coming in today. You're, you're very welcome. Appreciate it. So we were just talking about this new study that came out and the fact that a lot of people are somehow managing to injure themselves while wearing heels. It's incredible. It was a very interesting study. Uh, this group looked at injuries reported in the emergency room on uh, caused by wearing high heel shoes. They looked at patients from 2002 uh -huh. to 2012 and showed that there was an 82% increase in the rate of high heel injuries. There was double the that injuries. That is significant. It's unbelievable. And There's we're talking about what rolling, falling off the heel, yeah. rolling their ankles. Yeah, so most of these injuries occurred in the foot and ankle with sprains and okay. strains. Uh, some stress fractures occurred as well. There were double the injuries in 2012 that there were in 2002. And, you know, it, it's, they are tough to walk in. I don't know if you've ever put one on. But no, they, I have to admit, I've never done that before now. <laughs> they are tough to walk in, but they're pretty straightforward if you're in a certain state of mind. So how much do we think maybe <laughs> folks were impaired while wearing these heels? Well, I think there's two factors. First of all, the, the study actually showed that most of these injuries occurred at home. Okay. So Maybe hardwood floors, something? tripping up and down stairs. Okay. So I found that pretty interesting as well. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, impairment is probably has somewhat of an issue as <laughs> yeah. well. Um, but you know, just inherently, these high heel shoes are really not good for your feet. Biomechanically, they put you at a disadvantage, and and you could really get injured from the heels. Whether you have alcohol, whether you're fatigued, right. all that kind whatever of stuff. Whatever it is. Anyway, yeah. Well, and the heels only seem to be getting higher these days. They they do. They so do. So you they brought do. here um, a diagram of a foot, yeah. and you can kind of show us exactly what it does whenever right. you put these puppies on. Right. If if you actually just look at this model, and we start from the toes and move up to the heels, you'll you'll mm -hmm. see it's it. It, it sets you up for a problem. So first of all, the, the slant of this heel... Because this the is the bone the that should be upright. Right. So okay. this is your ankle bone, and yeah. this is your foot, and your toes are down here. Okay. So the studies have showed that anywhere over two inches, three inches, increases the pressure on the toes by 76%. Okay. So as the foot goes into this position, all of the pressure gets put on the ball of the foot. Now the toes also have to go up to hit the ground. Right. So that crunches the toes, it pushes the fat or the cushioning on the bottom of the foot forward. So you're putting all that pressure on the ball of the foot. So that can cause stress fractures, it could cause corns and calluses as the toes are getting scrunched together. Yeah, which I'm sure you see a lot of. A lot of a lot of hammer toes, a lot of bunions, a lot uh -huh. of corns. Um, especially as the shoe gets higher. Something as, as low as two inches increases it by 57 or 60 percent. So does it help? I mean, a lot of the shoes these days have this, this hidden platform inside. Yeah, yeah. So does that help at all? It does. I think if you can distribute the weight among okay. all the toes, it's better. Uh -huh. However, this shoe has these, this narrow right. top that squeezes the toes together, so that causes problems as well. So I put my big girl shoes on for you today. Very um, cute. I have I have a <laughs> saying, the higher the heel, the closer to God. So, right, 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 right. Um, for folks like me, for women who feel like they just can't give up their high heels, what can we do yeah. to try and minimize the risk? Okay, well, here's some recommendations. First of all, uh, anything lower than two inches is probably safer. Oh. I know, I know. <laughs> what? I know, I know. Might as well be in a flip-flop. I, uh, I would also limit the amount of sh uh, high heel time you're going to be okay. on your feet. So, you know, a few Take hours, you're going up for a cute date, or, yeah. you know, you have a party or someone to go to, you wear the heels. But, you know, as you drive back and forth to the date, or as you drive back and forth to your meeting, you should wear flats. Okay. You know, the other problem is if you're in your heel like this for a long time, your Achilles tendon, your calf mu muscle gets very tight. So that's why when you want to wear flip-flops, and you try to get your foot flat on the ground, it really hurts, and it can okay. cause a lot of strain in your muscles. So I would say stretch your muscles okay. every day if you're going to wear heels, before the shoes, after the shoes, okay. stretch that calf muscle. And take, think, take some breaks. And take some breaks. Wear a platform so you have more stability, so you don't twist your ankle. Okay. Um, protect Good yourself. advice. All right, Dr. Yeah. Stephen Newfield, thank you so much. You're Appreciate welcome. the advice, and I'm you're very, very happy to know that I can still wear my heels, you just can. in moderation. Limit, limit moderation. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you.